So what does an INFJ personality mean? An advocate, INFJ, is someone with the introverted, intuitive, feeling, and judging personality traits. They tend to approach life with deep thoughtfulness and imagination. Their inner vision, personal values, and a quiet, principled version of humanism guide them in all things. Advocates, INFJs, may be the rarest personality type of all, but they certainly leave their mark on the world. Idealistic and principled, they aren't content to coast through life, they want to stand up and make a difference. For advocate personalities, success doesn't come from money or status but from seeking fulfillment, helping others, and being a force for good in the world. While they have lofty goals and ambitions, advocates shouldn't be mistaken for idle dreamers. People with this personality type care about integrity, and they're rarely satisfied until they've done what they know to be right. Conscientious to the core, they move through life with a clear sense of their values, and they aim never to lose sight of what truly matters, not according to other people or society at large, but according to their own wisdom and intuition. INFJ Values and Motivations They are guided by a deeply considered set of personal values. They are intensely idealistic, and can clearly imagine a happier and more perfect future. They can become discouraged by the harsh realities of the present, but they are typically motivated and persistent in taking positive action nonetheless. The INFJ feels an intrinsic drive to do what they can to make the world a better place. INFJs want a meaningful life and deep connections with other people. They do not tend to share themselves freely but appreciate emotional intimacy with a select, committed few. Although their rich inner life can sometimes make them seem mysterious or private to others, they profoundly value authentic connections with people they trust. How others see the INFJ. INFJs often appear quiet, caring and sensitive, and may be found listening attentively to someone else's ideas or concerns. They are highly perceptive about people and want to help others achieve understanding. INFJs are not afraid of complex personal problems, in fact, they are quite complex themselves, and have a rich inner life that few are privy to. They reflect at length on issues of ethics, and feel things deeply. Because counselors initially appear so gentle and reserved, they may surprise others with their intensity when one of their values is threatened or called into question. Their calm exterior belies the complexity of their inner worlds. A personal mission. Many advocates feel that their life has a unique purpose, a mission that they were put onto this earth to fulfill. For people with this personality type, one of the most rewarding aspects of life is seeking out this purpose, and then, once they've found it, striving to do it justice. How rare is the INFJ personality type? INFJ is the rarest type in the population. It is the least common type among men, and the third least common among women, after INTJ and ENTJ. INFJs make up 2% of the general population, 2% of women, 1% of men. Examples of INFJs' personalities. Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela, Goethe, Jon Snow from Game of Thrones, Aragorn from Lord of the Rings, Fyodor Dostoevsky, and these are just a few examples that can help you better understand this type of personality. INFJ Hobbies and Interests. Popular hobbies for the INFJ include writing, art appreciation, cultural events, reading, socializing in small, intimate settings, and playing or listening to music. INFJ's strengths. Creative. Advocates aren't exactly like everyone else, and that's a wonderful thing. People with this personality type embrace their creative side, always on the lookout for opportunities to express themselves and think outside the box. Insightful. These personalities know all too well that appearances can be misleading. Advocates strive to move beyond superficiality and seek out the deeper truths in life. This can give them an almost uncanny ability to understand people's true motivations, feelings, and needs. Principled. Advocates tend to have strong beliefs and values, particularly when it comes to matters of ethics. When advocates talk about topics close to their heart, their conviction and heartfelt idealism can inspire and persuade even the sternest of skeptics. Passionate. Advocates crave a sense of purpose in life. Rather than living on autopilot or sticking to the status quo, they want to chase after their ideals. This isn't a personality type that shies away from big dreams, in fact, advocates are energized and impassioned by the beauty of their visions for the future. INFJ's weaknesses, sensitive to criticism. Advocates aren't averse to feedback, that is, unless they believe that someone is challenging their most cherished principles or values. When it comes to the issues that are near and dear to them, people with this personality type can become defensive or dismissive. Reluctant to open up. 
Advocates value honesty and authenticity, but they're also private. They may find it difficult to open up and be vulnerable about their struggles, not wanting to burden someone else with their issues. Unfortunately, when advocates don't ask for help, they may inadvertently hold themselves back or create distance in their relationships. Perfectionistic. The advocate personality type is all but defined by idealism. While this is a wonderful quality in many ways, it doesn't always leave room for the messiness of real life. Advocates might find it difficult to appreciate their jobs, living situations, or relationships if they're continually fixating on imperfections and wondering whether they should be looking for something better. Avoiding the ordinary. Advocates yearn to do extraordinary things with their lives. But it's hard to achieve anything extraordinary without breaking it down into small, manageable steps. Unless they translate their dreams into everyday routines and to-do lists, advocates may struggle to turn their grand visions into reality. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, be sure to subscribe.